Hello, it's Suzanne from our little camper adventures. I'm here to share with you the upgrades that we did for our camper. We have an ePro 15 TB. This is our third season and uh, we'd like to share the upgrades that we've done so far. Stay tuned. Welcome to our little camper adventures where we put a lot of fun into a small space and have the time of our lives. So I don't have somebody helping film. So I've uh, filmed or videoed each item that we've upgraded in our camper. And I'm going to describe each one. And then at the bottom of the description of this video, um, there should be some links on how to purchase some of these items. Stay tuned. So first off, tire covers. We have the Camco tire covers, helps protect against UV damage. TPMS monitor helps keep track of your temperature and pressures while you're traveling on the road. Bubble levels in conjunction with the Anderson leveler really does help keep things where they should be. We made a lock for our battery box. We have the master lock for the hitch and also a combo lock for the hitch lever. We changed the emergency brake cable to this bungee cord style much easier to use. We have Camco insect screen covers for our heater vent as well as our hot water tank vent. We changed out the standard locks that are on our storage doors to these cam locks with covers that help protect against water and dust. In our storage area we had added clear containers and drawers to help with easy access and viewing of what items are in the container. We also added foam insulation inside the storage areas as well as Reflectix. We covered the foam insulation with the plastic that you use for a wheeled chair, like in an office, and that helps to be able to slide some items around but doesn't slide too much where there's a lot of shift when you're traveling. We added a Camco Rhino 21 gallon tote tank to help with our emptying our black tanks when we're boondocking for a long period of time. We added a backup camera that's also an observation camera, so it does help when you're driving on the highway to see who's behind you, but also to help back you up when you're getting into your site. We have a WeBoost to boost our cell phone signal. I did purchase a larger, longer antenna that goes onto the ladder of our camper. Our camper came with a 100 watt flexible solar panel. We added an additional 100 watt and also a 55 watt flexible solar panels to our roof. We have a thermometer sensor that is Velcroed on the outside of our camper, along with a thermometer that's inside the camper as well. I attached a boot scraper to the side of our adjustable steps by drilling holes through the boot scraper, adding some bolts and wing nuts to hold it in place. I added glow-in-the-dark tape and reflective squares on the steps of our camper. We added an indoor wiper floor mat at the entryway to pick up the dirt as well as some water. We put in a shoe holder that's attached to the side of the cabinet at the entryway with command hooks. We added the Level Mate Pro to the side of the cabinet at the entryway that way, when we get to a site, I can just open the door, turn it on, and I can also plug it into the USB port if I needed to. You're not a true camper if you don't have various command hooks throughout your camper. We have one at the entryway where we actually put a um, hook assembly up there so we can hook our keys onto there, and we have hooks throughout the rest of the camper to hook jackets and hats and things like that. We have some baskets throughout the camper that are being held up by command hooks that we put kind of odds and ends and loose things like your phone or your wallet or something like that. We even use it for some extra phone cords and things like that. Same thing, we have some shelves throughout the camper as well. At the head of our bed, we have shelves on each side that we can put our cell phone when it's charging and the USB chargers that we put in there. And I also have another shelf by the solar controller. We have some battery operated puck lights where we placed in some areas where we found it very useful by the solar controller and also about the head of our bed. And we also have a night light that we keep going at night to make it easier to get up to go to the bathroom if you need to and not fall over things. We switched out the standard heater dial 
to the Honeywell thermostat, which is electronic, found that a lot more useful and a little bit more accurate. We hung a towel bar on the kitchen shelf to be able to store the dish dryer. We also have a few command hooks to hold the pot holders. We just purchased this fruit and banana hammock as well as the paper towel holder, so we'll see how that goes. We have a basket in the kitchen that holds the oils and cooking spray as well as our spices onto command hooks that are being held by 3M dual lock, pretty strong Velcro. We take that basket down in transit. We put in a much larger sink as well as a different type of faucet that has a sprayer head to it. Much easier to wash dishes. Our plates actually fit flat in this sink and not upright like the other one. We attached a sponge holder to the faucet to get the sponge off of the countertop so it can dry easier. We have a collapsible dish pan that has a strainer at the bottom. Really helpful to put that in the sink when you're washing your dishes, when you are boondocking and you want to conserve on your gray tank. Over the sink, we use a roll-up dish drying rack that you can pull back and hang up or put it behind your sink. Uh, it's very helpful when you want to put some dishes on there while you're cooking so you get a little bit of an extra countertop space. For our kitchen soaps, as well as the hand sanitizer, I bought empty bottles from Amazon and filled them with the different soaps and hand sanitizer that we use and attached it onto broom holders that are heavy duty Velcroed onto the wall. Under the sink, I have a broom pan and broom, some small garbage cans that we use for garbage and recycling. And also to the left is a magazine holder that we use to hold the rolled up garbage bags that we have. We attached a mounting rail for a grill on the cabinet facing underneath our kitchen stove top. And then we use the table that's included that you would put outside by your grill. We included that, we put that table on the mounting rail to allow for more table area for cooking. Another one of our favorite modifications was just to simply remove the microwave. We're boondockers and we don't use a generator. So we found that space wasted with the microwave. So we put a snack container in there and we housed the table that I just showed you. And then we put cabinet doors that we purchased from Forest River that match the cabinet doors to the left that are underneath the sink. And we just love that modification. Nothing fancy here. We just put the included silverware tray in the top drawer in our kitchen area and then just put another little basket in front. We put some wire shelving in the overhead cabinets to be able to house different things such as our cups and mugs and pots and pans and stuff like that for the kitchen. Also some wire shelving as well as some baskets that can house our clothing in the overhead cabinets. We have a broom holder that's being held by that super Velcro, as well as a collapsible broom. Helps with conserving on space. We also use hooks for hooking on hats or clothing onto the cabinet as well. And here's a view of the hooks being used in the inside of the cabinet that is underneath our refrigerator. We installed some adjustable wire shelving to put baskets and different items into the cabinet that is underneath the refrigerator. We installed some foldable hooks for our jackets in that cabinet as well. We attached a small mirror to the refrigerator. We have a small thermometer and a vent fan in our refrigerator just to kind of keep things moving along. Obviously I don't have the fan running so we have some frost in the back. We put a small drawer that's in the storage area that is underneath our bed that has access through the cabinet on this side wall. We got rid of the included table altogether, moved those black brackets further back. We put a piece of plywood down and a piece of foam and covered it over with some bedding. We attached the lagoon table bracket for the leg of the table to the right of that area. We put across 
that whole entire bed area a trifold full-size mattress, which is really comfortable. This is in stow mode. When we're at camp, we can move that lagoon table around to put some food on it while we're cooking or obviously use it when we're eating our food if it's raining outside or even snowing. To protect the cushions that the camper came with, I cover it with a fitted sheet. It is actually a bunk bed twin size fitted sheet. We also cover our bedding with a waterproof bed cover that we actually just used when we had a previous dog. And it's really protecting the bed from getting wet when the dog would jump on the bedding when their paws were wet. Onto the electronics, we really wanted to have a USB port to be able to charge our cell phones and have them close by if we're using them at night. So I ran a wire from the USB port that is by the entrance to the camper, ran that under the bedding and then added the USB port and then ran another USB port to the other side of our bed. We really love to have these USB ports close by just because we like to have our phones handy. To wind down at night, we like to watch YouTube videos, so we purchased a clamp that clamps onto the shelving above our bed that holds our cell phone in place. So while watching these YouTube videos, we don't need to hold the cell phone up in the air. Since we boondock and go to a lot of remote places, I permanently attach the WeBoost base to an area behind the TV. So when we're in the camper, we can just attach the WeBoost to that, plug it into the cigarette lighter and use the WeBoost. Since camper windows are not insulated very well, I actually attach some Reflectix to each of our windows by some Velcro strips. That way we can keep the heat in when it's cold outside and we can keep the sun out from heating up the camper during the daytime hours when it's you know 80 or 90 or 100 degrees out. We really haven't needed to use these very often, but we have them just in case. Just a view from our bed into our small camper. We really do like our little camper here. Last but not least, the bathroom. I have a little cup that has a suction cup to it that we use for the toothbrushes and toothpaste, and I have some suction cup holders that I use for our fast drying towels. By the way, having a microfiber towel really does dry much quicker than a regular towel. And you guessed it, more hooks and more shelves in the bathroom. We put in a shelf that we can put just some of the soaps and shampoos when we're showering. We put them away when we're done. And then a hook to hold up the shower curtain. And then I'll show you that what that little thing is in the corner. Must have is an Oxygenetics shower head and a shut off valve. We installed a hook that folds away so we can hook up the shower curtain to let it dry and keep it off the ground. In the corner is a hook that we use from the other side of the bathroom that I'll show you in a minute. There's a thick wire that gets pulled from one side and then hooks into that hook that's in the corner of the bathroom there. We installed a toilet paper holder that if you roll the toilet paper up inside it, will keep the toilet paper dry when you're showering. Very useful. The shower curtain that came with our camper that's in the wet bath was very small and really didn't actually protect the re rest of the bathroom from getting wet. So we installed a rail system on the ceiling that goes from one side of the bathroom to the other and then put a longer shower curtain in there that extends from one side all the way around. So when you're done showering, the tub is wet where it needs to be wet and your toilet bowl is dry and everything else behind it is even dry as well. Our little wet bath has a storage area behind the toilet bowl. We installed a shelving kind of system from Walmart with some baskets that we can put some loose odds and ends in and also stack up the toilet paper above that. 
Well, thank you very much for watching our video. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment to let us know what upgrades you've done or what upgrades that you would like to do in the future. And uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching our little camper adventures. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button if you liked the video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with others. Leave a comment so we can get to know you better. Thanks again.